What's going on YouTube? This is Mopar Racer 3. A little update on the uh, 87 Shelby Charger. This is going to be the new engine going in it. Uh, let me show you the old engine and I'll explain a little bit to you about the old one and, and tell you some stuff about the new one. Here's the old one. It's a non-common 2.2 um, block. Uh, standard cast crank and uh, LW rods and cast pistons. The problem that we had was uh, the block, this block is not built strong enough in the bottom end to withstand the horsepower we were making. These blocks are good for about 250 horsepower, uh, as well as those rods, they're good for about 225 or 250. The uh, cast cranks, from what I understand, are good up to 400 horsepower, but I still wouldn't risk it at that. Um, I'll just show you a little bit of what was going on here, the uh, the crank, uh, we're, I guess it's because it was making so much horsepower that the crank was flexing in the bottom end and causing the, uh, uh, caused us to have a bearing failure. Um, I'll show you a couple of the bearings. That's one with just some debris on it. Um, it's got some minor wear on just one side right here. Um, let's see here. There's one with just debris on it, some copper debris. There's one that's worn pretty bad on just one side there. It's got some debris on the other side. And here's the, the thrust bearing, as you can see. It's pretty worn down. So what we did to fix this problem was we got a common block out of a 91 Shadow. The uh, common blocks have 12 additional pounds of material in the bottom uh, the main caps on the non-common block, I think the weight on those were uh, 500 and I think they were 540 grams and the weight on the uh, common block main caps are like 630. So there's quite a bit of, of uh, weight and strength difference there um, as well as in the block itself. So what we did was we basically made a turbo two, a full turbo two engine. We got cast or a, a forge crank, um, and the forged rods got the crank from standard uh, crankshaft in Charlotte there's the part number um, happened to get one that was uh, uh, standard mains and standard rods I guess by luck of the draw and then there's the part number for the uh, rods they're coming out of uh, Paul's Rod and Bearings in Missouri um, and they're already sized and everything you just have to get the bushings uh, for the wrist pin fitted um, but we put that in this engine um, and we had a set of uh, male pistons out of a uh, 88 Shelby Z that we put in here as well um, hopefully this engine setup will be fine um, from what I understand the, the horsepower rating is uh, quite substantial on the internals that we put in. I think they'll withstand up to about 450 horsepower, maybe even more than that. Um, but we just didn't want any more failures. There's the uh, Turbo 2 Super 60 um, turbo that I got from FWD Performance in, in Texas. You guys can look them up on the internet. I got a lot of the stuff for this engine from them. You look them up on the internet, uh, talk to Cindy, she's real knowledgeable. But just besides that, just the regular old stuff. I got a Super 60 cam in it, um, 52 millimeter throttle body. Um, the block is just a standard bore. The block that we that we got, we took it to the machine shop and had them clean it up, and it was good. The bore was good. We we just honed it out and cleaned it up, um, so it'll get a good seal. And uh, hopefully we're gonna drop it back in there today. Or tomorrow. It's a perfect day out there today for it. It's raining. Can't really get out and do a whole lot. Good day to be in the shop working. There's my 89 Daytona and my uh, 2000 Dakota RT. We're Dodge people around here, so hopefully we can get this thing dropped back in and uh, gonna be running 18 pounds of boost. Might turn it up to 20. Um, 804 injectors. Uh, just all the normal stuff. One thing that we did do to this engine because of the uh, the crank 
for the, the steel cranks that were made for the two twos, they have the small, uh, or they use the large seal on the front crank on the front uh, crankshaft seal. So what we did was instead of putting the uh, the original uh, front crank seal housing back on there, because it uses a small seal when you get to the common blocks, we just took the uh, the one off of the non-common block and drilled a couple of holes and uh, fitted it on there. It fitted pretty well. Uh, all the holes are, um, the, the original holes, they all have backs to them, so you, you have no through holes. You don't have to worry about oil or anything coming out. Didn't have to block any holes. Um, but hopefully that's, uh, this is going to be the last time I have to do this. Oh, I should have done this the first time, but sometimes you just get a little hyper and you want to throw something together and see how it runs. And after, I only got 50 miles out of that engine before it did that, so it didn't run too awful long. Anyway, like I say, good day to put it in there. Hopefully we're going to get it dropped back in. Get it cranked up and get it running. We'll get another video up. If you guys got any uh, questions or anything, just drop me some comments and I'll get to them. We're going to get this thing in and see how it does.